Hello everyone, uh, this video is about uh, how to pass the US visa interview and it is for those people who are uh, studying in Canada so, and who are immigrants. So yeah, this is my friend Adil, <laughs> he is the one who helped me today, he is the one who helped me recite the prayers in the morning and while traveling and uh, with the God's grace, with Allah's grace, I was able to um, succeed and get the visa approved for the US. So in this video, I'll tell you what are the process. Uh, so basically, once you've got your appointment, it is recommended that you reach there by at least uh, 40 minutes before the interview because uh, there's a long queue. Uh, so it takes almost... At least if you're applying in Canada. Yeah, if you're applying in Canada. So this is this whole video is about if you're applying in Canada uh, and I'm currently in Toronto and the, I think the address was uh, 225 Simcoe Street. That was the US Consul, uh, Consulate General Toronto. So make sure, it, let's say your appointment is at, uh, mine was at 11.45, so if your appointment is 11.45 for example, then make sure you'll be there at least by 11. Uh, we reached by 11.20, but luckily they accepted us, uh, they allowed us to get in. So that was great, but uh, it's better you come early. And it was raining, uh, as you can see the weather right now is like, it's a rainy, rainy uh, today. So I was wearing a jacket and I was able to say protect myself. But no electronics are allowed. <laughs> no cell phones, uh, no, no, cell laptops. Phones, no laptops, no, no, no hearing devices. No AirPods. Uh, unfortunately, I had forgotten I was carrying my airport and I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to break the queue. So I kind of tried to hide the uh, airport uh, in one of the stands, the queue stands, below the queue stands. And that way I was able to get on, get in there on time. So once you get in, basically, you show, <clears throat> you show your ID, you show your passport. Then they uh, allow you to get in, then they do the security check. And uh, once that is done, then you'll go to the first counter where they will check your passport. Uh, they'll check your um, status in Canada. So you make sure you carry your study permit uh, or work visa, uh, work permit, whatever you have. And then also take your photographs. The next counter will be uh, the uh, next counter. They will take your photograph and the following counter, uh, they will do the biometrics. So they'll ask you to put your fingers and all that and get the biometric done. Finally, you will be going to the um, the interviewing window, and everything is like, like in a very small room. Uh, I would say there are hardly like three windows for uh, submitting the photographs, two windows for biometrics, and around four windows for interview. Uh, my interview only took like 20 seconds. They only are not 20 seconds. I would say one minute. Uh, this asked me like four questions why you're visiting. I told them uh, I'm going for holidays uh, because I'm studying in Canada, my holiday next year, so I'm going to for holidays. Uh, they, then they asked me like, do you have anybody living in US? Any family in US? Please do not say yes. Say no, even, even though you have it, just say no. They want to make sure that you'll return back. So that's why I don't say that you have anybody in, in um, US. So the next question was that, uh, how long you've been living in Canada? I was I'm living here since last 14 months, so I gave that information. Then they asked me, uh, what program are you in? Are you in bachelor's? I was doing postgraduate, so I told them that. And they asked me, when does your program finish? Mine finishes in next year August, so that's what I told. Uh, and then they asked me, where are you going to be staying in the uh, US? So I told them New York, and that's it. They said your visa is approved. You will get it in a couple of days. And then I got out. So that was pretty much it and they said that you will get the passport at the post office somewhere here in post office uh, in Toronto so you have, you have to go and collect it from there. Some people say it can take up to 5 to 7 business days. Uh, so you have an option to give your home address, unfortunately I didn't do that. So I might have to come back again because I'm here only for 7 days so if I don't get it in time I'll have to I live in Winnipeg, so I have to go back and come back. So, yeah, just, just make sure that uh, you don't take those decisions uh, carefully. Yeah, uh, if you have any questions, leave a
a comment and uh, uh, we'll go ahead and answer that. Uh, this is my DS60 form. I can't show you the full because it has my information. It's the half of it. And uh, also to get the photo in Canada, the cheapest way to get the photographs clicked is to go to Walmart. They know the size and everything, but make sure you have the stamp, uh, the time stamp and the date stamp at the back of your picture. That's important. Um, and just verify the size that's required for the photograph. Uh, it costed me around uh, $20 for the photo, but if you go to any other places, it's going to be more expensive. Uh, so getting photographs snap clicked is not as cheap as in India. Cool. Thanks, guys. And... Uh, Thank you so much Mr. Adil for helping me out today. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm super happy I got my visa approved for 10 years. And hopefully I'll now check. it's party time. Party time. I'm giving uh, my friend a party in uh, Montreal uh, this weekend for the visa getting approved. And also I'm throwing another party for him for getting the permanent driving license. So if you have any questions about that, you can always leave a comment. Okay, thanks everyone.